Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Holbach and in this tutorial we're going to upgrade um, the package hello from version 2.2 to 2.3. 2.2 is in, in, in the Hardy archive right now, so we're going to download the, the source package for it. For that we run app get source hello, which then downloads the auric.tar.gz file the diff gz file and the dsc file so the original upstream tarball the compressed changes we had to introduce to to make it built in in the ubuntu environment and the description file so what we do now to to upgrade it to the newest version is obviously getting the source from from the upstream page for that we will call wget ftp gnu org pub gnu hello hello dash 2.3.tar.gz so that's the the table we we get from from the upstream page now we're going to rename it and as you can see in the in the source package uh, we downloaded before, it's hello underscore the version number dot auric dot tar dot gz. We don't introduce any changes right now, we just rename it. Now we unpack the table, we run tar xfz hello underscore two dot three dot auric dot tar dot gz then change into the source directory and now we apply the the packaging changes of the diffgz file we used before so it's zcat hello underscore 2.2 diffgz patch minus p1 Right, and the patch applies, applies cleanly and what we need, need to do now is update the, the version number of the package in Debian changelog. For that we introduce a new changelog entry, we run dch-i and it's important to change the version number in the first line of the change log to 2.3-0 Ubuntu 1. This means 2.3 is the upstream version number, the source code we just downloaded, and it's the first revision in Ubuntu and it hasn't been in Debian before. The next part of the first line is Hardy, which specifies the Ubuntu release we upload to. In this case it's sufficient to say just new upstream release because we haven't introduced any other changes right now. What we'll do next is an Ubuntu specialty. Our friends at Debian asked us to change the maintainer name in the Debian control file whenever we introduce any changes but preserve the previous maintainer. That's done because then Ubuntu users can um, mail a bug report to the maintainer and, and it will end up in, in the Ubuntu team, not for the Debian maintainer. So the line which says maintainer Santiago Villa, we're going to change that to xsbc-original-maintainer and then add a new line called Oh, which says maintainer Ubuntu core developers and specify an email address which is in this case Ubuntu, Ubuntu devil discuss at least Ubuntu.com. It's important to to list that in the in the Debian changelog as well so we run uh, so we update Debian changelog accordingly 
and mention that we changed maintainer field in Debian control. And what we'll do next is update the, the source package. For that, we run dbuild capital S dash SA. <coughs> now it asks us to um, to update the to to sign the source package. For that, we have to enter the the GPG passphrase. And we're done. If you look at the generated files, you will see there's still the oric.tar.gz, but also 2.3-o Ubuntu 1, divgz, and dsc. So the, the source package was updated. What we'll do now is use the tool pbuilder to build the package. sudo pbuilder build and then the file name of the DSC file. So what pbuilder now does is um, take a minimal build environment, minimal Ubuntu environment, and just install the build dependencies which are specified in the Debian control file. And that's a really useful tool. It's, it's good to test it in a pristine and um, minimal environment. The build is done. And now we can take a look at the resulting package, which now lives in var cache pbuilder result. Okay, so if, if you look at it, it mentions um, the version number, the architecture it was built on, the dependencies, the package description, and also the contents of, of the package. And there goes your first updated Ubuntu package. <laughs>